NetShade is an application for Mac OS X that helps to protect your privacy by routing your internet connection through a proxy server. This has the effect of preventing the websites you visit from being able to determine your IP address. An IP address is essentially the address of your computer on the internet, and it can allow somebody to determine things like what network you're on, your geographic location, in some cases, depending on your network and how much information is available, it can even tell people things like your address, your dorm number in a college, your lab number in an institution, etc. NetShade is just a regular OS X application, so to launch it after I've installed it, I can just click on it here in the dock. And here you see NetShade's main window. This shows us how we're currently connected. You can see we have a direct connection from our computer to the internet. Here are the three connection buttons here. You can choose from Direct Connection, Public Proxy, or NetShade Proxy. Direct Connection is essentially as if NetShade wasn't running. We're just connecting in the clear to all the websites we visit. If I switch over to one of these proxy options, it's going to take our connection and route it through a proxy server, which essentially acts as a middleman in the connection. So I'll click Public Proxy. And you'll see it randomly selects one for us. This one it believes is in Brazil. You see its IP address, its port, and you see how long it took to do a round trip test on that proxy, essentially sending a request and waiting for it to come back. Now this is a test that was performed by this computer just a few seconds ago. You can see up here this spinning indicator shows that we are currently scanning the public proxies. And this shows how many pass the test, meaning that NetShade believes they're good enough for us to use you see that number is increasing. I can choose my public proxy from this list and you'll see that they have different statistics. The number of dots indicate just how secure and how private that particular proxy server is and that's explained in greater detail in the FAQ on the website. So I'll pick one that looks good. We want one with three dots. 0.63 is a pretty good time. We'll try this one in Canada. So now our connection is routed through that proxy server. If I go over here uh, to a web page, I'll try to open a website, and you'll see that it's opening up pretty fast. If we want to make sure that we are behind the proxy server, I can come back to NetShade and click Verify. This opens up a special page in the web browser. So what this tells us is that we are behind a proxy server. The IP address here is not the IP address of my own computer, and if I were to set my connection to direct and reload this page, I would see my computer's IP address. So this is telling me that I am going through a proxy server. To the servers I visit, I appear to be coming from this IP address, which is the IP of the proxy server. Down here you see proxy type, and it says you don't appear to be using a proxy. That's actually something that we want to see because that tells us that the proxy server we're using is not communicating the fact that it is a proxy server. That means that the sites we visit are not aware of our actual IP address, nor are they probably aware that we're using a proxy at all. So this is a public proxy, and as you can see there's another button for NetShade Proxy. That gives you access to the dedicated NetShade Proxy server, which is a subscription-based service when you purchase the NetShade software for, for $29, you get one year of access to the server, and then it can be extended by additional years for $19 a year. So if I click on NetShade Proxy, you'll see it routes us through. This server is based in the United States. Currently, it's in Illinois. And this is a highly secure proxy server, also very, very fast. So if I come back to Safari and reload this page now, you'll see that it has changed our IP address so that we are going through the NetShade proxy server. Now I'll open up some sites just to demonstrate how fast it is and you'll see it loads that content very quickly. Go to a few news sites. These are pretty content heavy sites of course. ESPN. So it's very usable to say the least. Uh, it's almost as fast as a regular internet connection not going through proxy at all. So that's what you get with NetShade. It's a very highly available and highly reliable proxy server. NetShade also gives us something called the Proxy Manager, which lets us manage the public proxies that get loaded from NetShade's list. And you can see here the public proxies and the results of the tests that were performed. It also lets us set up our own custom proxies, which get stored in NetShade, so that you can always have those available if there are some that you find particularly reliable. And 
I can also copy and paste from this list into the bottom list. For example, if I like this proxy, I can just copy it here, paste it here. And that means that it will always be in my proxy menu. If I go back to the console here, we can click public proxy and you see my own custom user proxies up here and the public ones down here below. So I can choose any one of these and you'll see it switches to it. In the proxy manager I can configure some filters on these proxies and you see over here we can filter them by ping time, security level. As I start doing this we'll get to fewer and fewer proxies. Now you see there are only five left. So I can pare down the list and get it to something that's likely to be reliable. So I hope you like what you've seen. That's NetShade essentially and it is the easiest to use and the most powerful proxy software for the Macintosh and probably for any platform right now. I think as you begin to think more and more about how much of your online activity is being logged and essentially tied to your IP address on these servers around the world forever in some cases, NetShade really begins to make a lot of sense. Thanks for watching.